Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Mr. Deputy Speaker, before I um, go into the motion at hand, I just want to add my voice to the members who have spoken with regards to very speedy recovery to the Honorable um, Virginia Poyot. I must say, when I heard of um, the medical situation yesterday, I was in total shock. Um, but it was just a reminder of our own weaknesses and, you know, how we must all be, you know, sympathetic, you know, to our brothers and sisters. Because, you know, only at the Friday pass at the Economical, uh, economical um, Service, I was teasing her about her legs being sore because she was, I saw her doing that Katumba dance and very vibrant. She said, no, 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 I fit her than that, you know. So it was really a really shock to me. So I really want to wish her a speedy recovery. I think she's a person with a very strong mental capacity and when you're sick, your, 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 your mental strength is very important to get you through. So I really wish her the very best. Um, Mr. Speaker, also before I really go into the substance before us, I was a little confused with the Prime Minister's um, clarification of um, your appointment or, or, or his statement yesterday because as soon as I came in this morning and I saw you, I congratulated you on your promotion um, because, um, you know, we, ha we do have that, that, that kind of rapport because I'm very certain that uh, in the Prime Minister's statement and statement that I saw that, you know, it said that you would be um, acting in the role. And it, it's, it, it's, it, it's, it's written in, the, in your statement. So, but I'm, 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 I'm hoping that, you know, further clarification will come. Uh, um, will come. Um, so, um, so, Mr. Deputy Speaker, as we, as we address the, the motion before us, um, the House must be reminded, and St. Lucians must be reminded, the fact now that um, the value-added tax um, will be removed on the items listed and the schedule amended, it would naturally mean that these items would not attract the health and security levy. And, um, you know, which is a very good move, but it also highlights to me the bad decision with regards to the health and security levy because I think this may be the fourth or the fifth time we've had to come to the House to amend the schedule with regards to um, either VAT or health and security levy. And it means that every time, you know, something comes up. And, and when we pass legislation, there is room for us to come back to the House to make adjustments. But the frequency of making the adjustments highlights, to me, Mr. Speaker, the decision was a poor one. And, Mr. Speaker, I say that because I look at C, and that's why I asked the Minister, the, 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 the Honourable Member for Castries East, clarification. Because C speaks to goods and services imported by a person who, in conjunction with the government, embarks on an undertaking that has been approved by Cabinet. And that's very open and that could mean anything. So it really and truly, um, because it's, it's not specifically for the sporting, that's something complete, it's a completely um, new line or server. So it means that as people will come with concerns with regards to VAT um, at the will of, you know, the, the cabinet and prime minister, you know, that can be adjusted. And that really opens the door to any number of items being adjusted under, the, under, under, under this aman, uh, amendment. So, Mr. Speaker, it's, it's, it's concerning to me, um, but pleasing at the same time um, that we recognize the importance of particularly the sporting issue. Because it's been over a year, um, someone from my constituency had brought in some sporting equipment for a school. And, um, Items were held by customs, and I've been trying to get them out until finally the customs officer guided me that if I could get him to give me a, because I, I actually showed him the, the authorization that members of parliament could get these sporting things um, duty free. 
And he said to me, but it's not in my name. But he did advise that if I could get an authorization by the individual, then customs would have a look at it. So now that clears that, and hopefully the items can be released um, you know, to, to, the, to the school in question. But it goes on to, and, and, and the, 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 the Prime Minister in his opening statement spoke about the St. Lucia Football Association and some work they had to do with a feel and the lighting and all this kind of thing. And it reminded me of a particular situation in, in, in my community where um, the, the lighting on the Lafag playing field had not been used for a little while. And then when the Shozel cricketers wanted to engage in another Shozel smash, which the very first one was a resounding success, a number of the lights were not working. And um, obviously everybody was a little bit um, helter-skelter trying to get this thing working. Um, we were able to get the provider. And I think an, an, an amount of just about 200,000 EC dollars was quoted to repair the lights. And unfortunately, um, we, the ministry was not able to provide us with that assistance at the time. And it left for room for a lot of speculation as to whether it was because it was in an opposition constituency. And you see, Mr. Speaker, the consistency of helping sportsmen and women must be across the board, you know? Um, because $200,000 is, is a drop in the bucket, a drop in the bucket when it comes to assisting sporting, sporting, um, sporting um, individuals, Mr. Speaker. So I was very concerned, Mr. Speaker, that, um, you know, that item, that, that these lights were not, were not repaired on time for us to continue with our, our shows and smash, Mr. Speaker. Um, <clears throat> but Mr. Speaker, as we speak to the list of sporting um, um, interests that has been listed there, I note, and I thought um, uh, that must have been an oversight, knowing the, the Minister of Sports and his passion for, for gym. I don't see anything with regards to gym equipment or the gym, the, 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 the gyms in St. Lucia. So, 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 no, 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 you cannot put C, 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 C when you have listed items, okay? I don't see fishing, I don't see diving, and we've recently been promoting drag racing, I don't see, you know? So I just want to highlight some of the, the, the omissions that I recognize. I, 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 you know, I want to get buff like him too, you know? Uh, but put gym, yeah, put brilliant gym, brilliant gym, yeah. Um, so, 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 Mr. Speaker, these are some of the concerns I have, but at the, I, 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 I am very happy that the, the, you know, the government has, you know, become a little more conscious of, you know, some of the things that matter. And, and, and I'm sure we will see a lot more as people come and, well, maybe not because now it doesn't have to come to parliament. But, um, you know, so... The, the, the young people now will recognize that the government, you know, aired initially when they made that um, health and security um, um, implementation and how it has impacted on prices. So I, I, support, I support the motion with regards to removing VAT and amending the schedule, but I'm, I'm just concerned that, you know, you know, this thing had to come to this point where we had to, you know, um, make that amendment. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker.